Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys yet another Halloween spooky episode of not really retro shiz, but you get the idea. We're totally checking out the 2012 Playmates 2017's line, Monsters and Mutants, featuring a very high school werewolf, teen wolf sort of style with a werewolf michelangelo and then you have a very batman out Raphael with an aptly named vampire raf of course donatello gets the star figure of this entire wave with the frank and don also the name and then leonardo well of course he gets the short end of the stick with mutant mummy leo and this was just Harkening back to Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The last season, so to speak, where they kind of went the old Mirage style with different, maybe kind of futuristic, maybe kind of different alternate realities and such like that. So we were given one heck of a cool toy line. They also had some Monster Hunter versions of the Turtles as well, along with their monstrous counterparts. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot beating hearts from a fresh victim sure why not this is a look at the 2012 teenage mutant ninja turtles their 2017 monsters and mutants by playmates toys all right enough of the spooky music we get it already but these are the turtles all out of their packaging well they've been out of their packaging for quite some time but this is just a fun nod to the universal monster turtles that Playmates Toys did back in the day, and each of the turtles have a new styled monster, of course. Kicking it off with mutant mummy Leonardo, and of course he's all bandaged up, very Egyptian, he's got a big snake on him, really drive home that aspect, but it's a very simplistic snake, a plastic gold snake, not a whole lot of paint on it, and then you get a nice golden sword, keeps the snake motif, of course, and then you have Leonardo, and I really like the gold scarab on his leg, I think that's my favorite part about this. The wrappings are done nice, his toes are done nice, in case you don't know, yes, this version of the turtles, they had three toes, it keeps with the whole thing going on, he's got really long scraggly fingernails, bandana the snake will just fit around him it kind of ends up being more of like an inner tube kind of thing unfortunately but it does the trick in terms of making it the mummy but i do wish that he had some sort of weapon storage or maybe just even two katanas being that it's leonardo in either case yeah he's a cool looking figure and then you have <laughs> the werewolf Mikey and yes if you've never seen Teen Wolf he's doing his best Michael J Fox impression and this Michelangelo of course comes with some bone nunchucks and I like that that's creative that's interesting that's goofy for the monsters and then he comes with a piece of pizza because Michelangelo has to come with pizza dudes I do wish though that it had like bugs or skulls something on it other than just here's a slice of pizza that would have fit it a little bit better but Michelangelo does get a great sculpt on this I'll bite it's missing a whole lot of paint that really would have brought forth all the sculpted details and it's weird to see turtles with ears I have to admit his bandana as you can see if it was just colored orange instead of just his hair color it would have fared a little bit better on the back side. It says wolf pack on his jacket. If that would have had a little bit of color, that would have been great. The shell kind of blends into his skin a little bit too much, you know what I mean? But it is a fun sculpt. The sculpting is there. It just needed some paint. But yeah, he's got the whole teen wolf thing, and I'm really glad that they went that route. That's actually kind of interesting, more so that they got away with that. But yeah, he can hold his nunchucks really well in one hand, piece of pizza in the other, and of course, you got a very cool wolf man, teen wolfed out Michelangelo, which brings us to a very vampired Raphael, and I think that of the monsters, Mikey's definitely fits him. Raphael, he's rude. Yeah, he could be a vampire, right? He comes with a very creepy looking bat turtle. Obviously, he's going to turn into that, so it has to be turtle face, but it's it's odd. It's like something out of Castlevania, to be honest, and it's got little clippy feet right there, even though I guess that works, but on the backside, not much detail, but I like the turtle face on it. Go figure, right? But he does come with a wooden staked sigh, which again, in terms of accessories, I think that's interesting. The fact that he comes with like another regular kind of stake is a bit perplexing on why he'd want to use that. But hey, when you got the living dead going on, 
it doesn't really matter. Don't ask any questions. Raphael has a fairly decent sculpt on him. It's very simplistic, more so out of all of them, but he makes up for it in a really nice cloth cape that adheres to his arms. He's got the ears again, which <laughs> I'll say it all day. It's weird to see a turtle with ears, but the cape is cool. It's very much a very muted maroonish kind of red and it's got like a chain around his neck he's got decent articulation although you're gonna want his arms all the way out usually because you can attach everything like the bat on his shoulder and you could put the sigh in one hand you could do it Raphael style when he holds it between his fingers so it's a cool looking sculpt but it's missing just a little something you know but I'll tell you what's not missing anything here this is the one where I feel like they started and then afterwards they were like I'm tired <laughs> this is Frank and Don and he gets one heck of a figure including this really cool bow staff that's all Frankenstein technoed out I absolutely love it it's very simplistic but Donatello is not they really went to town with the paint with the details with just the corny aspect he's got his buck teeth but he also has this giant bolt in his head i find that hilarious instead of on the neck or in the head or whatever it's just straight down into his skull that's awesome he's got bolts plates rivets all kinds of cool things going on the feet while a little bit hollow right as you can see i mean he's got toes sticking out there's a bolt sticking into one toe but this is where the paint really would have brought it more to life it's missing it's a lot of paint it's very simplistic but he's got these really cool electrical bulbs sticking out of his turtle shell and he's got this metal plating all over him he's got scars for days cuts and gashes if those would have had paint you really would have seen this turtle come to life more so than he already is he's got the weapon storage on the back which is awesome and it severely cements this figure as the top of the line for the monsters and the mutants and i love you put his hands out he's just a complete package this is a very cool ninja turtle figure but what is a mutant monster without a monster hunter? And this is the monster hunter Raphael. And do keep in mind, there is a Leonardo figure in this line that has basically the same thing going on as Raphael. Unfortunately, I don't have that figure, nor did I ever see it in stores. But, you know, one of these days, I'll get it. Raphael comes with a stake shooting crossbow weapon basically now these are more from the television show the monsters weren't in the actual cartoon but this version of Raphael in so many ways was for these types of turtles he does have some okay articulation but I really like that his jacket just has that really cool Victorian look and then underneath he's got a whole pack of garlic right there and he's got wooden stakes on a belt that goes around his leg and it is very simplistic but I think the bowler hat and the jacket really bring this guy to life and he's really not going to hold his weapon all that great with two hands one-handed sure but I think the vampire Raphael's stake really does make more sense in terms of this guy and to be honest in so many ways I really wish Raphael wasn't the vampire because then you could have vampire hunter Raph going up against a different monster just FYI I guess if you have the Leonardo figure it doesn't matter but you get what I'm saying but in either case you could have him going up against Shredder and Shredder realizing he's made a horrible mistake. Yeah. So that's going to wrap it up for my retro spooky shiz look back at the 2012 Ninja Turtles. Their 2017 Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Monsters and Mutants line. Now again, I don't have the Leonardo. That is something on the old wish list. But I have these Monster Turtles. And while I do have issues with their paint here and there, the sculpts are there. The fun is there. And I do feel like they did put some time and effort into really kind of bringing home the monsters. It's not the best iteration of Turtles X Monsters. You know what I mean? We've had far greater, we'll just say. But I'll tell you all day, if you got any of these, Donatello is definitely the one he is the star of the show he is just awesome but when it comes time for halloween they are a lot of fun to have in any sense it's goofy old-fashioned playmates ninja turtles fun but i am curious to know what you guys think about this line do you have any of them do you need to get them now comment below let me know let's talk everything monsters and mutants 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, one of these days, I think it would be really cool if we actually saw Monster Shredder or Casey Jones April and really put them into the whole Monsters and Mutants subline. You know what I mean? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.